Hey guys, it's Shu. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today I've got episode one of the uh, No Hitter Challenge. So, T. Um, Rell, literally about 5 10 minutes ago, suggested to me that I should do the No Hitter Challenge. Rules are it has to be nine innings, all from a starting pitcher, and no hits allowed. I'm going to do it in season mode. This is a 162 game season on the easiest settings, I think, pro. But what we're going to do, I'm going to do manual play, fielding only, pitch all nine innings. Um, as soon as I give up a hit, I'm going to sim the rest of that game, move on to the next game. Each episode will have at least three, or no, at least two attempts in it um, until I get it. Might have three or four, just depending on how things go. We're going to jump into it. I've got to reassign my guys, I guess. So I've got Kyle Hendricks on the mound. For the first few innings, I'm going to go... I like to paint the corners, but I'm, you know, I'm going to throw pitches around and... Dozier with the jump throw, I could have given up a hit to lead off the game. But anyways, um, certainly more strategy will be involved as I make more attempts at this challenge and as I get more familiar with uh, the settings. But for now, just trying to... Alright, I got him to swing at strike one. I'm surprised the AI bit at that. Um, o2 count. Let's try the high outside fastball. Falls it off. Bury the sinker. There we go. First strikeout. One inning, perfect. And I, I think I can allow walks. Um. Certainly, I'm going for a perfect game. Hey, Miguel Cabrera at home run gives us a one nothing lead. But certainly, with the no-hitter, I'm going ideally for a perfect game. Um, now, when it gets to the ninth inning, I might intentionally... Or not the ninth, but let's say seventh or eighth inning. If there's a tough batter up, uh, not that I'd like to walk him, but... You know, you might pitch around them a little more carefully. Here we go. Second strikeout of the ball game. Is that a hit? That's a hit. We'll be back uh, with the next game. And the final stats are for Hendricks, eight and a third innings, no runs, nine hits, ten strikeouts, no walks. And he's the game 83 MVP. I got game 84, Colin McHugh on the mound. And the two one pitch swung through it. Let's go curve ball. Ah, that's too low. Full count. We'll bring two seamer. Let's get him. Got him looking. 
One down. Twenty-six. Left to go. Man, that is a... That's probably the best pitch I'll give him this at bat. That's a ball, and he swings through it. Two up, two down, two strikeouts. That's a nice pitch, and taking it. That's a ball. Taken pretty easily. Can't get him to swing on this curveball. Yeah, fouls it off weakly. Um, that was a bit glitchy. Grounder to first. Well, one inning down, eight left to go. Here we go. We got one nothing lead. Just like game one, although not via the home run. Question will be: Can I keep the no hitter going for more than an inning? Not getting him to chase anything. Not even a little bit, but bring a strike and he'll foul it off to make it 2 1. He'll take strike two. That's high. Will he chase? Yes. Strikeout number three out of four batters. Bring a first pitch curveball. Dang, taking it. That's a strike. Yep. I like that location. Oh, just missed inside. I thought I was going to get that one. This one's coming back in for a strike. And let's go curveball. Got him. Four strikeouts, five batters. Piscon's getting up there, though. And a pop out to short. So two innings. So far, so good. Gonna try to, I mean, not groove strikes, but throw more strikes, keep the pitch count reasonable. Will he chase that? Grounder to first, harmlessly. Ah, that missed. I'm surprised he missed the spot by that much. Oh, Ooh. had him swinging out of his shorts. Let's try a change up and a foul pop out to you first. Almonte, the only batter we have not faced once so far. Oh, just missed the corner. Just missed high. All right, let's yeah, let's go straight fast. Well, that's gonna miss. Are you kidding me? I got him to chase. Um. All right. Fall off. Let's. There we go. Another ground out to first, but man, Q certain misses spots. Very uh, frustrating. As we face the leadoff hitter for the second time, Mr. Carlos Santana. Ooh, that missed high. Let's throw that fastball. That's hammered to center, but Billy Hamilton gets under it for an out. Uh, all right. 
Man, I'm throwing these strikes and they're just taking them like. It's the exact same thing I do, but man, it's so frustrating. And another fly out to center, you know, and now it's an out. This pitch count's getting ugly quick. Pop out to short. We gotta stop going for strikeouts just because if I can get them out in two pitches instead of four, those pitches are gonna keep my overall uh, pitches sharper. We got a second run. Although, if I'm going for a no hitter, I shouldn't need more than one run of support. Ah, I missed the strike zone. Are you kidding? That was juicy. Alright, I like that location. I like that location. I don't like that location. Especially because he didn't swing. Come on, get in the strike zone. Gah. There we go. We got the strike up. That was six pitches. Took me from 45 to 51. Alright, he followed it off, but I'm getting a swing. And there's the first hit of the game. Well, we'll do one more game for this episode. And then that will be about it. And we won 3-2 to two and a bunch of extra innings. McHugh, the MVP despite giving up two runs. Now we got Matt Harvey. It's the Tampa Bay Rays. And we want to keep the pitch count pretty low. Ah. That missed low. Can I get him a chase? Nope. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Here we go. That's in play. Ground out to second. Not worth the six pitches, but... Man, I was trying to throw strikes, and it was missing the zone completely. Come on, be a strike. See, like, I aim that in the strike zone and it misses. Well, at least we got two outs. And we get through the first inning. Only ten pitches, so we do... Actually, uh, get some of our efficiency back. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we give up a hit. Well, thank you guys so much for watching episode one of The Pursuit of a No-Hitter. 
Um, I guess the up, uh, series, can I get a no-hitter? Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Um, if we get at least five likes, there will be an episode two. Or, let's say three likes. Three likes for an episode two. Comment um, if you've gotten a no-hitter yourself. Or if there's a pitcher you want me to try to get a no-hitter with. I might change my rotation a little bit. We'll see. I um, also have better starters next episode. I'll have my number one starter, Chris Sale. My number two starter, if necessary, Steven Strasburg. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, uh, comment what you think, and subscribe for the rest of the series, along with other MLB Perfect ending live content. By MG, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.